One thing we stress very strongly here at Ibit Prep and in our Remain Clam books is learning how to convert words to math, take word problems and make them into equations, and to do it as you go. That is, don't read the whole problem, stop and say, wait, what do I have? And then start again and try to tackle it, halfway confused. Instead, just read as you go, and as you get to each comma or period, stop and take stock. Simone, Marco, and Evan were partners in business. Simone and Marco each received twice as much of the profit as Evan received. So here, we're going to stop and do stuff. Because from that sentence, we know that Simone and Marco each received twice as much as Evan, which means that Simone and Marco received as much as each other, and again, twice as much as poor old Yvonne. Must have been like a late adapter to the company, so didn't get as much profit. So how does this help us? Well, to solve any algebraic question, you're going to want to get everything in terms of one variable. So we can skip over the whole Simone and Marco relationship and just go to Simone and Yvonne. And then you can say that Simone equals 2 times Yvonne. Marco equals 2 times Yvonne. And here's the part kids often forget because it seems redunculous. But don't forget that Yvonne equals Yvonne. So now we have a potential equation because we'll keep reading some more. If the total profit was $1,800, how much? Well, we don't even care. We're going to stop right at this comma. See what I'm talking about? So the total profit was $1,800. So that means if you add up Simone and Marco and Evan, Yvonne, they're going to equal $1,800. But we don't want three variables. We want one. And that's what we have here. So we're going to substitute. Instead of Simone, we're going to say 2E. Instead of Marco, we're going to say 2E. And for Yvonne, we'll just stick with good old Yvonne and say E, 1800. So now you do your good old algebra. So you 2E plus 2E plus E equals 5E. And that equals 1800. You divide both sides by 5. And you find out that E equals 360. Now we know that E equals 360. Now we read the last part of the question. And since it's a nice early problem in the math, they're not tricking us too much. They just want to know how much Yvonne received. But the reason we finish our problem before reading the question is because we know for sure that this is Yvonne. And we don't just peek and pick 360 because then we go and we read the last part of the problem, which says, how much did Yvonne receive? Could just as easily have asked us, how much did Simone receive? Or how much more did Simone and Marco receive than Yvonne? Could have asked a lot of questions. So until you finish your equation here, don't look here. But reading as you go, creating equations as you go, means you're not going to get confused, and you're not going to get this wrong. Yay! And that's how you convert words to math.